Uh, dear friends, I know that you are surprised with the title of this video. Want to speak fluently then make mistakes. I know it is surprising but the fact of the matter is if you want to speak fluently, confidently in front of everyone, the most important thing is you have to make mistakes. In this video, I'll tell you why we don't like making mistakes. I'll also tell you why making mistakes is very important and I will change your mindset and develop that mentality where making mistakes is absolutely okay with you. Interested? Come on, let's start. I'll explain my point with the help of a real story which happened in my institute. Actually, all my videos are based on my experiences. Students tell me their problems, I think about that and I make a video. Same thing here also. I have a one course called English Communication and Confidence Therapy. A very powerful, very popular and effective training course for those who want to communicate confidently, who want to be good public speakers, confident speakers and emotionally tough and sound. In this program, we don't teach any grammar or all that things. That is not the traditional method we, we use here. We use a different method. I remember Raghav, one of my students from Delhi, but currently he was residing in UAE at that time. He had joined. Before joining, when I asked him what are your problems, he told me that, sir, I get nervous when I speak, number one. Number two, I cannot speak in front of seniors or I cannot speak in front of four or five colleagues. I get stuck. I forget all the words. But when I speak to a known person, my friend or a single person, I have no problems. I speak very nicely. This problem happens when I speak in front of mob or when I speak in front of my seniors or I speak in front of someone who is more confident than me. I said, okay, no problem. You can join. He joined. In this training session, I told you English communication confidence therapy. We do not have that grammar or all those old traditional ineffective and boring methods. We have very active, participative and psychological sessions where students develop their language naturally and overcome the fear of speaking. So one such session was there. In that session, before starting the session, I had already declared that. Always I declare these three points when I start my sessions. We have different sessions like GD is there, debate is there, presentation sessions are there. Through this, we develop the confidence. On that day, I had declared in the class that you have to make mistakes. Number two, I had told the class that no one is going to laugh at anyone's mistake. And number three was focus on expression and not on perfection. The class started. I was observing Raghav. He tried once or twice, but he couldn't. He was very nervous, very tense. That's normal. For the first one or two days, it's normal. Four days passed, seven days passed, 10 days passed, but Raghav wasn't able to communicate. I was observing him, I was motivating him, but he did not and one day he quit. He was absent for one week. I tried to contact him, but no response. Finally, he picked up my phone and I asked him, what's the problem? At that moment, he said, sir, I'm going to quit. I can't continue. I said, why? What happened? He said, sir, I can't do it. I get very nervous and I'm sure I won't be able to do this. And then he started crying on phone. I was also touched because this was a guy, his age was around 30, 35, staff nurse. And he had also told me that he hasn't taken promotion only due to the fear of communication. Because when he, if he took the promotion, if he became the HOD of the department, he had to go in front of the crowd and speak. And already he had denied promotion two times in two years. And this was the last chance. Otherwise someone else would have accepted the offer. I understood. I spoke to him and I asked him about his childhood memories. Because I have observed that students have problems due to some past experiences. And he told me one incident. He told me that in school one day, and he was from a vernacular medium, he was asked to introduce the chief guest. There was one program in the school. And he did that. But while doing that, 
he made a couple of mistakes. After the program was over, the teacher spanked him, scolded him, humiliated him in front of the entire class. This disturbed him. This hit him like a nail in his head and he lost the confidence. Since that day, he never participated in any event, any competition. In fact, he, was, he lost his overall confidence in life. I remember him very vividly, very clearly. I realized what was going on wrong. And I told him the pendulum concept. The pendulum concept is in this way. I told him, this is a pendulum. On this side of the pendulum, there are mistakes, humiliations, errors, and learning from mistakes. And on this side of the pendulum, growth, good communication, confidence, good package, promotion is there. I told him that if you want to go on this side, that is growth, you have to go on this side because this is law of gravity. The more you go on this side, the more you will bounce on this side, the more you oscillate on this side. But some people only oscillate halfway. This is called as the comfort zone. If you want to go more on this side, growth, success, prosperity, he has to leave his comfort zone and go out of the comfort zone. Where mistakes are there, they are going to happen. Failures will be there. Sometimes humiliations will be there. Sometimes you have to feel sorry. But that's the part and parcel of the game, part and parcel of the process. I gave him my example, how I made mistakes while I was trying to become a good communicator. Finally, I could convince him. And Raghav joined back. Now he joined with a lot of positive energy, a lot of very balanced thought process and I had programmed his mind properly when he makes a mistake. It took him 15 days to speak, but he spoke. He continued my training. He improved a lot. He grew. He overcome the fear. The mistakes came down and he started speaking confidently. Friends, now I'll tell you where is Raghav. Raghav has taken the promotion, accepted the promotion. He is the HOD of a department. He is in UAE now. Very happy with him. Very happy with him in his life also. He contacts me. He is in touch with me. Friends, what I want to tell is this. If you want to be a good speaker, mistakes is the part and parcel. What your teachers said, if they have humiliated you, punished you, they have not done it purposely. They are not bad. They did not know the right way. Maybe their teachers have done the same thing with them. And teachers are not always right. They are humans. They may make mistake. Friends, I want you to write in the comment. Right there, I will make mistakes and learn from them. Write there in the comment. I will make mistakes and I will learn from them. This is the only way to grow. This is the only way to speak fluently and confidently. Hope friends you like this video. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook. You can come there, visit me, there are better videos. Better posts are there. On LinkedIn, I am there. Come on, guys. See you there. Of course, if you like the video, please give a like. Subscribe my channel. Some fascinating videos I am making for you. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you and goodbye.